watch we break and right here so despite us sanctions and 3 years of consecutive challenges Huawei was kept going and they even faced shortage of chip production where they were not able to produce enough smartphones that is why we have seen Huawei delaying smartphone launches even they delayed the Huawei Mate 50 Pro's launch date due to the shortage of the chipsets But today, Huawei created a history. They proved that they can compete alone with the big giants of the market because today, Huawei's current chipsets has secured a position in the global chipset market once again. So yeah, Counterpoint Research has released the quarter third 2023 global chipset market report showing the shipment shares and sales revenue. Will the list of the top chip makers including Qualcomm, Apple, MediaTek and more among them Huawei's Karen has ranked 5th spot in the global chipset market with a 3% market share. On the flip side though, devices like the Huawei Mate 60 Pro and the Huawei Mate X5 foldable smartphones which basically equipped the Karen 9000S chipset significantly boosted the performance. Hence, these products continue to obtain great attention from users and become hot demand in the market. Meanwhile, sources reveal that the mid-range Huawei Nova 12 series will bring the current variants on board. With ultimate features and an outstanding current chip, the Nova 12 lineup is expected to hype the sales revenue for Huawei in the global chipset market in 2024. So there is a lot to even come now. Anyway, coming back to the report though, Qualcomm gains the first place with the 40% market share. A major reason for this success is most of the premium flagships in China equips the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor which has ultimately contributed to the growth of the company. The second position is grabbed by Apple with a 31% market revenue and the credit goes to the iPhone 15 series with the first 3nm processor technology. Next come MediaTek with being first in shipments. However, the overall sales revenue has pulled the company to the third ranking with 15%. Samsung made its achievement at the fourth position with 7% of the market share and then Huawei came from nowhere with 3% of the market share and as I told you earlier, Huawei is planning to introduce mid-range current chipsets to the market and I'm pretty sure that After the release of the Huawei Nova 12 series, the overall market share of the current chipset will increase rapidly. So yeah, what do you think about it? Will Huawei be able to achieve the lost position once again? Well, do let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.